Hey there everyone and welcome to another tutorial video. We're going to be going into how to create on and off toggle emotions for your VTuber model. There's so much you can do with this feature which is not only being able to change the facial expression of your character in this case but you can also swap out other elements of your character too using these on and off toggles. It can be as simple as putting a hat on your character or giving your character additional features that wasn't there previously. Now currently I have some head emotions. I think you would have seen it in my previous video in the hair physics deformer right here. And I also have some blushes as well for the face. And yeah, I'm just going to show you how to go about making this on and off toggle. So first off, I'm going to show you probably one of the easier ones that I can do, which is the angry expression. I'm going to go ahead and make a new parameter. I'm going to call it angry. And then I'm going to call this for the ID param underscore angry. And then for the minimum, I'm going to go zero. And the maximum 1.0 and there it is. I'm just going to take it out of this folder because it's not really meant to be there. But there's the new parameter we just created. We're going to start off by making an on and off opacity toggle so that we can make the angry expression appear generally. Then we're going to go into what we can do with the face, how to alter it using the on and off toggle. Now I've just done hidden the angry expression. We can actually get the on and off toggle working. Before I go into it, I just wanted to emphasize how great deformers can be sometimes in this position. Because the warp deformer for the hair front here, this particular deformer has already been mapped to the X and Y parameters here. It's allowing us to be able to deform the angry expression too. And by placing the red blush also into the head X and Y, it's also adopting the movement of the head in this case, or particularly the face. Now you can obviously go in if you wanted to, to edit the movement because this blush doesn't seem to align too well with the face. You could just make a new deformer and create some X and Y keyforms for it so you can then adjust it accordingly to what you want it to be. So you're going to have to manually do that yourself, but at least it gives you a starting point. But for the most part, I'm actually quite happy with the way this looks, but you can slightly alter it if you need to at all. Now, we're going to go ahead and make this on and off toggle work. We're going to highlight the red blush and the vein on the side of the head. Make sure that you have highlighted the angry parameter and click on add to keyforms. The far left keyform is the off position of your on and off toggle. The far right is the on position of your on and off toggle. So what we want to do is have the left keyform highlighted so we can bring the opacity down. So that will mean that if we go to the far right, it will turn the expression on. So that's probably the most easiest form of making a on and off toggle. Like I say, this particular information is very good for hats, accessories. If you have additional features to your character, now that we've got a simple on and off toggle, we're going to go into the big one, which is to actually edit the face to resemble the expression that we're trying to achieve. We're going to start off with the mouth form. So click on the mouth form and mouth open parameters here. Feel free to pick whatever keyform, just right click on it and click on select. Now with all of them selected, click on the angry parameter and create two keyforms. Now there's probably something to this that I literally know nothing about. I don't really know what this warning is all about because I've not had any issues, let's say. So I just always click OK. It will create the keyforms and you'll be all right. 
Make sure that the far right keyform is selected on the angry parameter. We're going to create an angry expression using the base far left keyforms on the mouth form and mouth open parameters here. We're going to start off with obviously the top left one. We're going to go control shift C and we're going to paste it to the far right top keyform here. So if you just make sure you highlight that keyform and then go control shift V. Now go down the list on the far left, control shift C and then the far right there, control shift V. Do it again, control shift C on the, this particular keyform and then control shift V on this keyform there and so on. Now you have effectively created a different facial expression using the mouth. Now by pasting all of these far left keyforms here to the far right, we no longer have a happy state for the mouth when you use the angry on and off toggle. So say for example, if we go to the far right keyform here, if we turn off the angry toggle, you'll see that it goes right back to the way it was. This is by far the easiest way to just create a difference in expression. You can obviously go into these keyforms too to vary it up and make them different. Though I will say, looking at it now, this particular keyform here is usually the point where you would be grinning. So those kinds of things are probably worth bearing in mind if you are aware of the way your face rig functions every time that you smile. For me anyway, this particular keyform is the point where my teeth are showing and I'm smiling. So for the angry expression, it would make actually a little bit more sense if I was to use this one here, because at least it's closest to being a grin. So we're just going to select these ones again. It's up to you if you don't want to do this though. You can very easily just deal with what you've got here already. Um, but I'm just kind of letting you know what I've learned more recently about this kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to paste it into this key form here. And I'm also going to replace this particular mouse shape with the one we've currently got here at the top in the middle. I'm going to select everything in this top keyform here, copy and paste it into the top. Because again, this is also a state of the mouth where you would be grinning and opening your mouth at the same time. Like I say, you can certainly use this as a starting point for creating your own facial expressions for when you're angry. But if you're just wanting to use your existing mouse shapes, you can still use that. So now we're going to actually go into how we can change the eyebrow because currently we've got the default eyebrow and it doesn't look very angry. Now there are two ways you can deal with this. I currently already have some separate eyebrows that could be swapped out for an angry eyebrow. Of course though, if you do decide to do this, you're going to have to go into every single eyebrow parameter and keyform and edit all of the opacity so it's all zero. That's the only thing about it. So say for example, if we do select the standard eyebrow and select the angry parameter and create two keyforms for it, again, ignore this message, then you would have to go into every single one of these keyforms to lower the opacity like this. So then once it's all disappeared, you can then swap it out with the angry brow, like we did effectively with the actual blush and the vein and such on the head. So I'll go through that now just to demonstrate that for you.
Now this may take a little while, you can end up finding yourself accidentally missing out a keyform just because of how elaborate this is uh, to create in the first place. Once you've actually lowered the opacity of the eyebrow completely by going into every single one of those keyforms and parameters, you can then click on the angry parameter and unhide the angry brow. Make sure you highlighted the angry parameter and click add two keyforms and then go to the far left. Now you want to lower the opacity of the angry brow on the off position. There you go, we've already got an on and off position for the eyebrow. Even if it is the, the Y parameter, which is the up and down motion, you can literally create more eyebrows and more movement using the brow parameter. You just have to obviously make sure that you create new keyforms for this on position. As you can see, we have now created a angry expression by swapping out the eyebrow and adding a facial expression to the character. I will show you the other way of sorting out the eyebrow. You can effectively make it so that you can use the default eyebrow settings you've already got for the standard brow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So as always, make sure that you have the main standard eyebrow that you have currently for your VTuber model highlighted and create two keyforms for the angry parameter like we did before. And it is a simple case at this point of editing the brow to be what you want it to be. But what we really do need to put emphasis on is this angry state here. So if we copy this particular keyform here and slide the brow right form parameter to the far right and paste what we have copied into this keyform here. We have effectively created a brow form which is angry. You may need to edit bits if you want to emphasize the character being angry. It's really up to you whether or not you want to keep it standard or not. Now that we paste it in this keyform, we need to paste it into this keyform as well. And this keyform as well. Now what you could do instead though, is if you were to go onto the far left here, which is already an angry state to begin with, we can actually paste what we've already got currently for the angry state for the eyebrow. So instead of pasting it completely to be the same kind of eyebrow where it's not moving on the far right, we can make it so that it has the variation like we do have currently for the angry brow anyway. To do that, all you have to do is just like copy the keyform in the middle, slide that across at the bottom there, and then paste. And it will adopt the same values. And then do the same here too, on the far left. I like the far right keyform for the angle. Copy, control shift C, and go to the far right keyform for the brow right form parameter, and control shift V to paste. So now we have the exact same properties. Now bear in mind, because we do have this uh, brow right Y, it looks like we've got some movement going on here. We've sorted this out for the far left for brow right Y, but we're going to have to do the same thing for this as well, uh, for the far right here. So basically repeat what we did at the beginning, but make sure that this is selected at the top here. So if we start here, start with this keyform here, Control shift c bring this to the far right keyform there, Control shift v bring this back again, go to the middle, Control shift c far right again, go Control shift v far left again, Control shift c far right again for the eyebrow form, and then Control shift v So now this is applied to the up and down motion for the eyebrow. 
And generally now you've got this really nice subtle movement going on with your eyebrow. Only you've made it on toggle to be only angry. I know this is confusing, I know generally speaking that the eyebrow is probably one of the most strangely complex parameters to deal with. But this can be a really nice way of using what you already have to create a set emotion without having to swap out eyebrows and starting things from scratch. So as you can see we have effectively created a on and off toggle for two different kinds of emotions. One being obviously the default when you turn off the angry expression and the on expression for the angry toggle which makes your character angry. Now you can obviously do this for any kind of emotion. You can make, make your character happy, you can make your character sad. This is, I find, the best way to make an on and off toggle for your VTuber model. And generally this premise can be applied to anything. Say for example being able to create a different kind of pose for your character, you'd be able to do that. Alright, so that's the end of the tutorial. I hope that this was helpful in being able to create your own facial expressions for your VTuber model. Thank you all so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. There will be many more videos to come. Thank you all so much for the continued support by watching my videos. It means so much, so thank you. And I will see you all next time. Take care of yourselves out there. Bye guys, see you later.